I'm Kay, and I'm a late bloomer. <laughs> I'm a southern girl, and I love corn, tomatoes, and watermelon. If I'm going to have a garden, I've got to grow corn. I thought, how hard can it be? <laughs> Here's my corn story. In mid-February, I dug a four by four foot pit in my parkway. I was going to plant potatoes and they need good drainage. I had to recondition my hard clay soil. No, I'm not <laughs> digging a grave here. The soil was still damp 18 inches down, which means potatoes could rot. It took a week to decide to plant corn seed there instead. I pulled the pots of dirt back to the sidewalk, screened out the rocks, mixed in sand and filled the hole with dirt and alfalfa. Can you tell I love dirt? <laughs> I read the most common mistake people make is planting corn seed too early and the seed rots in the cold soil. After one month and no corn sprouts, I bought organic seedlings from the nursery. You can see the two shoots here. They cross pollinate, so they grow up together. The plants grow to about 60 inches tall and need six feet of clearance. And I think this is gonna be a great spot to grow corn. I just have to wait about 75 days. 75 days. Natural pollination depends on the wind, so I should have planted stalks close together instead of spreading them around the yard. In late April, the girls wanted to plant something and I still had some corn seed. You can see how hard my soil is. Hmm, that seed didn't sprout either. On May 4th, I planted a couple more large corn stalks and finish them off with rainwater collected in April. Meanwhile, tassels were appearing in the first plants. May 10th, Sophia helped me water. The new corn got us soaking. Mother's Day afternoon, I started digging a pit for more corn. I was well underway when Michael stopped to help me shovel. Then neighbor Jenny walked by. Okay, you have brightened up the whole neighborhood. She's right. your garden. She we said just I love it. Brightened up the neighborhood. That's right. We all <laughs> join here. And look at and more reinforcements showed up. Good thing because the sun was going down. By now we had quite a peanut gallery. It was a neighborhood affair. That white car. See how strong she is? We took a break to chew on the alfalfa. What kind of has good flavor? It does. Mm. It's very sweet. <laughs> I love alfalfa! Yeah, I can. Next day, I finished the job and packed eight more stands of corn in that very small space. I've been so busy with everything else, I just spotted these aphids on my corn tassels. I sprayed them with a mixture of plant-based soap, vinegar, and a sprig of rosemary. I hate to know I had a whole cornfield I had to do this to. It was the middle of June and the ears were growing. This is the biggest one. just touch. Just because the ears were growing didn't mean the kernels were getting pollinated. Each one of these silks goes with each kernel. Each kernel has its own silk. Each silk must be pollinated to produce a kernel, which is why you need to plant them close together. And the color's kind of pretty. The kernels that were there were ready. It's just there weren't very many kernels. It wouldn't be 4th of July without corn on the cob. <laughs> Looks like I got about 10 kernels here. Ooh, gosh. There's actually more on that one. By the middle of July, that same plant was covered in aphids. Even though these lady beetle larvae can eat thousands, and the majority of the aphids were dead, 
It's best to keep a clean garden, so I pulled the whole thing out. Bye bye. Though I had shaken the tassels every day, one cob had a few kernels and another was loaded. Oh my gosh, look. <laughs> Grow this. Wow. This one completely pollinated. Oh my goodness. Wow. I ate every single ear standing in the garden. Mm. Ta-da! Results will be more consistent if you plant 16 stalks in a four-foot block all the same variety, especially important for small gardens. Here were my last two. <laughs> I ate them anyway. On August the 11th, I pulled out the stalks. I didn't bother to research corn before I started. I'll know better next year. I'm Kay, and I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm not leaving for nothing right now. Whoa! <laughs> you gotta see this. I'll just sit on my throne in my driveway and... Tell your vassals to grow. Yeah. Say bye, late bloomer. Bye, bloomer. <laughs>